Good afternoon, family. This is our reading for July the 5th. It's titled, The Hand-Picked Ones. Our scripture lesson is Jeremiah 1.5, and it reads, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. Amen. Jeremiah 1.5. Now, this reading... Um, has a special meaning for me um, and um, I did read ahead slightly because I wanted to know what the hand-picked ones were and it meant and so um, I know of a young man who went through something like this or that was his experience in his birth order but his mother um, nonetheless even though he was not a planned pregnancy, his mother loved him and still loves him dearly. Amen. Wink, wink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amen. This is to my youngest son, James Jr. This is what this reading made me think about him. But anyway, James Jr., your mother loves you, son. Amen. Amen. It says... The handpicked ones, let us pray. Abba Father, thank you, Lord, for this reading. Thank you, Lord, for the memories that is stirred up in my heart and possibly someone else's heart, Lord, once it's, once it's read. Thank you, Abba Father, your blessing and your healing upon us always. In Jesus' name, amen. It says, my parents had a two-year-old boy and a nine-month-old baby girl when they found themselves unexpectedly pregnant with me. My mom had quit her job to take care of my siblings, so the budget was really tight. Today, as an adult paying my own bills, I understand their feelings, but growing up hearing the story that I was not planned made me feel loved but not desired. Please don't misunderstand me. My parents have always been loving, and I would not choose another family even if I could. One Saturday, when I was already an adult, we were in church, and the sermon was about cases like mine. The preacher said that everyone is very special to God, but the ones whose births were not planned by their parents have a higher purpose in this world because God himself planned their existence. Wow, wow for me. This thought had a huge impact on my life. I felt especially chosen by God. I dedicated my life to following God's plan, plans, spending more time with him, and asking what and where he wants me. It has been an adventure since then. I have put aside my plans to live his. I can tell you that it's not easy being the one who plans your own life. What you will study, where you will be going to live, where you will work, whom you are going to marry, or even smaller things. But I can guarantee it is wonderful because God never makes a mistake. He knows everything and everyone better. Many things have happened since then. Some of them I never would choose. And others, I would make them happen sooner. But I am learning day by day to live God's way and his timing. This is my story. I don't know yours. But I am sure God has a higher purpose for your life. Wonderful things are even hard tasks that you never would dream or plan. Let him show you. Your part is to obey. Wait patiently when necessary and trust him. Search for him with all your heart and he will make your paths straight and guide you in the middle of the storms and the bright sunshine. Amen. Always keep in mind 
that his plans are far better than yours. Amen. Our reading today comes from Kaniah Kopita. Amen. The hand-picked ones. Amen. Amen. Something to think about. Unexpected occurrences in your life or unexpected children in your life. Um, and you never know how God is going to use those little individuals when they come along unexpectedly or other circumstances that can come along unexpectedly in all of our lives. Abba Father, may we trust you for every nook and cranny and every twist and turn that we did not plan, but your finger has been upon it, Lord. Give us, Lord, Father, the mindset of obedience to trust you completely and to go where you lead us to go. Thank you, Lord. This is my journey to you, not your journey to me. Help me, Abba Father, to stay on my journey to you. Help us all, Lord, to stay on our journeys to you. Thank you, Abba Father, once more for all that you do in our lives, the things that we can see and the things that we cannot see. And Father, help us to remember as we enter your courts, we enter it with praise, 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 and more praise. Teach us, O oh God, to praise you, Lord, morning, noon, and night, and in and out of the various situations that we find ourselves in. Some are so joyous and overwhelming, but others can almost render us in complete astonishment. But Father, help us to praise you anyhow. Thank you, Abba Father, for this precious time here with my YouTube family and my YouTube friends. Thank you, Lord, once more for the prayer warriors, Lord. And Father, as we enter into the gates, let us praise your holy name. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Blessing and healing family to all of our land. So thankful and grateful to be here with you all this afternoon. It's hot here. It's sticky outside. And um, I'll tell you, I hope the weather's nice where you are. And I'm not complaining because last night it stormed up. No, last night, night before last. It stormed like crazy. I didn't even think it was going to be any type of fireworks or anything going on. It came down so hard. But last night, um, as I... Um, began to fall asleep. I heard the fireworks and all of the celebrations going on. So Father, just thank you. I pray that everyone stayed safe um, and um, you all stay safe today. And by his grace, I'll see you in the morning. Um, let's remember those who are on our prayer list. And um, if there are any new prayer lists, prayer requests to add, please put them in the comments. And also, welcome, welcome, welcome to our new subscribers and all. Thank you for being here. I know some come and some stay. I don't check the numbers every single day, but I thank the Lord for those who are here um, that have subscribed and um, blessing and healing to all of our land. By his grace, I'll see you in the morning. Amen.